Hello there. Our football travels have taken us to the eastern part of the English capital. A clear night here at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United versus Nottingham Forest. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Creswell, number 28, Thomas Suchek. Number 12, Flynn Downs, number 20, Jared Bowen, number 22, Sayan Benrahma. And a look at the West Ham 11. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Angelo Ogbonna plays alongside Kurt Zuma in central defence. And the striker today is Mikel Antonio. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Well, no surprise, really. They're matching up here. But there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. Thanks for attending today's game at the London Stadium. Enjoy the match. And the game begins. And Chris Wood. Can he finish? And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And short it is. And the cross goes in. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here it is again, and they go short just to get a different angle on the cross. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. So West Ham get us moving again and a swift response required after the setback. Said Benrama. Flynn Downs. Antonio. In possession, Bowen. Chance here. Oh, blocked it. Emmanuel Dennis. And a strong tackle. Paqueta. And teammates to play it to. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. Delivering it, and clearing it away. Cresswell. Well, the flag has gone up, it was really close. Wood Bianconi the attack continues they're making considerable progress Gibbs White
Top class defending. Brennan Johnson and does well to keep it in play well cleared away well, for more on the injury let's go down to our reporter Jeff Shreves I've got to say he landed really heavily on his shoulder there and looks like he's in severe pain but he looks less concerned than the bench who are worried about him I think he'll stay on cheers Jeff well they know they need to stop him Options in the middle. They've given it away. Morgan Gibbs White. Nice looking pass. An incisive pass. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take? Well, it's been a tight first half so far. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. Oh, the post denied him. Well, they survived the attack. A foul, but advantage played. Using his strength to shield the ball. Promising-looking attack from West Ham. He has time to play it over. Excellent defending. Excellent vision. Wood. Can he finish? Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And a short corner, let's see. And it's gone in, just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, here it is again, and they go short just to get a different angle on the cross. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. It's official now. The first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the London Stadium. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Stuart. He just hasn't been able to affect the game so far. He hasn't had too much of the ball, but even when he has, he's not looked threatening. And they... So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Using his physical strength to shield it. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Now, looking dangerous here. And this would reduce the deficit. Must score! And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive and kicking. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal.
West Ham still trailing, but this game very much alive as a contest again. Brennan Johnson. And a poor ball. Getting forward. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Chris Wood. Johnson. Wood with it. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Gibbs White. This is a message for Andy Tottenham. That's Andy Tottenham. Can you please return to your vehicle immediately? Thank you. Flynn Downs. Antonio! Well, the keeper had to concentrate. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Now sending it in. Thumps clear. The delivery. Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Shelby and it's with Gibbs White Chris Wood ball with Shelby Shelby well flinging himself up the ball so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture Over it comes. Ben Rama. Well, just listen to these West Ham fans. They're driving their team forward here. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Morgan Gibbs White. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight match, but they haven't done quite enough going forward, in my view. It's all been a bit too predictable. A lot of passing, but not enough penetration. They have to get crosses into the box in these final few minutes if they want to get anything out of this. Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Substitution for Nottingham Forest. Coming off the pitch, number six, John Joe Shelby. Coming onto the pitch, number 22, Ryan Yates. Renan Lodi. Morgan Gibbs White. Chris Wood, this could be it! And he read it well. And there goes the final whistle. An altogether frustrating experience for West Ham and their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, Stuart, he really has had a lot to say for himself out on the pitch. Yeah, it was a very good performance. He scored one and hit the woodwork, but his general play was outstanding as well today. Very impressive.
We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match. And it's West Ham United with a kickoff. And short it is. And the cross goes in. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And didn't he just? This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. Wood. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And a short corner, let's see. gone in just what the doctor ordered things looking very bright for them now with this buffer and it goes to reduce the deficit still very much alive and kicking Antonio well the keeper had to concentrate both managers deciding this is the time to... Shelby. Well, flinging himself at the ball. So deciding to make a personnel change at this... Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. Well, both teams have had substitutes...